Good morning. Well, I do so see you checking in. It is Wednesday. Time for my Wednesday blue plate special. Today we're going to try to make us a chicken pot pie, except we're going to make, except I'm going to put dumplings on the top or drop biscuits is actually what I'm going to try to do. So I have to get started here. It's 10:51, and I'm hoping to get this done for lunchtime. So I have got to get moving. I have a little bit of grease in the bottom of my pan. I'm going to start the burner. I have potatoes that are cooking right now. Just going to parboil them. I don't want to mush to go in here. And they'll probably be about a... Oh, I'll count off the ingredients as I put them in. Right now I'm getting the pan heated up. I want to get some uh, of this chicken and the uh, onions cooked up a little bit. And we'll make a... I want to make a, a uh, thickening. A little bit and we'll put in some vegetables so that's at least that's my plan I'm hoping my container here is large enough to contain all this sometimes I make things a little bigger than I should but we'll see where this turns out so right now I'm heating up a frying pan I got approximately a pound and a half of chicken thighs that I've cut up that I'm gonna sort of get cooking in here and I will be adding most of this stuff in, and when it comes time, hopefully, to, for the biscuit time, the oven will be at 425, 450, something like that. And I'll drop the biscuits on the top, put them in, and hold my breath that everything comes out all right. So right now, I will turn off the camera and get ready to start frying up some of these things. And I'll tell you what's going to go into it as I go along. So Lloyd and South Senior, check it out. Well, I'm back. I have the uh, onions and about a teaspoon of garlic or so in the frying pan at the moment. Just kind of moving them around, sauteing them, soften up the onions. So, yeah, we got close to a cup of onions in there, maybe a little bit under at the moment. I got to turn up the heat here. I turned it down because I had to move away. Get those going. I also am putting in, a, putting in some mushrooms. I have a four ounce. Well, it says it's six ounces, but it's four ounce dry weight of mushrooms that I'm going to add in. Softening up nicely. Heat's coming back up. Okay, I'm going to saute these a little bit longer here and then I will be adding the meat to this and I'll come back on camera when I do. Uh, bidding into this, in case I forgot, which I probably did, is I put a about a good heaping tablespoon of my favorite seasoning, bacon fat, in here to get started. Of course, that'll help when you add the thickening agent you know, a little bit, which today I believe I'm going to be using some uh, cornstarch to thicken this up a little bit. So I'm going to be turning the camera off here for a bit. It's got to go some, and no need to have you watching me twirling that. Well. Mushrooms are cooking along just fine, so I'm going to push them sort of to one side here a little bit, and I am going to throw in the chicken, which is, as I said, is a pound and a half of chicken, which we will get cooking in here. I am going to season it with uh, Grillmates Montreal chicken. Turn this all over here. So, chicken's in. I'm going to stir it around. I'll come back on. I'm going to 
You're ready to add something else here. Well, I'm back. I have uh, added two tablespoons full of uh, cornstarch and mixed in water, and then add it to the brew here. I'm going to get myself a pot holder so I can tip this a little bit. All right. That's what we got for consistency right now. I'm going to be adding some evaporated milk to that. And then I'll be moving on to the veggies. I always shake my evaporated milk because it seems this particulate matter that tends to settle out. I added rosemary and thyme. With the camera was off, just a few little bit of seasonings. I'll be adding some pepper. And I'll check it to see what I need here shortly. I'm going to start here opening this up. There we go. And that is 12 fluid ounces. So I am going to start with about six of those ounces. About half a can right there. All right. That all blended in. And I'm holding my breath that all my veggies are going to fit. So I'm going to test this out here. Bring the heat back up a little bit. All right. Get the old spoon out here. Giving it a test. Just want to see what the flavor is. If it needs more. Mm, coming along nicely. One more ingredient that I'm going to be adding. A little sprinkle of an old faithful to me, which is old bay seasoning. I'm not going to overdo it, but I am going to give it a shot. Okay, so we've added the old bay along with the rosemary and thyme. Okay. Just move on a little bit. Get my pepper grinder. All right, come. I think we've got it. Heat down. Mix in the pepper. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, let's see if I can squeeze all this in here. Got a cup of corn. And two cups of peas and carrots, frozen. The corn was canned corn. All right, we're in. Okay, get that all in there nicely and let that start to go. Okay, all right, so I'm going to measure up some potatoes to see how many I want to put in. Yep, do I knock myself out on that door? Yep. Let me see. squeeze two cups of taters in there. Now we get right to the top now. Alrighty, I'm gonna mix all these goodies in. Now I was gonna use a casserole plate, but if all this stuff is gonna go and I can put my biscuits on top, far be it for me to try a different way. Let's see. I'm not sure yet. One thing about cooking, seems I haven't made this before. Okay, well I will be turning the camera off, be turning the oven on, and be getting ready to make some biscuits. Or do so senior, check it out.
Well, I'm running a little bit behind the power curve. It's about 11.30, but such as it is, I'm keeping an eye on the uh, chicken here. Our pot pie is cooking nicely. It's going to be going in the oven shortly with a bunch of biscuits on top, I hope. Keep this from sticking. There we go. Alright. We're gonna make some biscuits. I have a some butter in the fridge. I'm gonna to attempt to shred this stick of butter, which is frozen with my shredder, which I actually put in the freezer so it's not warm and starting to melt. And uh, I will uh, show you just exactly how I start on that, but I don't believe we're going to stick with the whole camera for that. We'll catch up with when we get to that point. All right. So anyway, the whole trick is going to be, I'm going to this down in here, put this here, and then I'll try to get all that butter in there. I'm going to turn the camera off for a moment while I do that. Okay, well I have all the butter mixed in. Not mixed in, but in the bowl. Now it's, I'm going to turn it on itself and get all that butter mixed in with the flour, hopefully. That actually worked pretty good by freezing the... Uh, butter in the freezer and also putting the, shred, the uh, grater in there to stay cold because it is summertime and you start taking a cold piece of butter and that grater is warm and all of a sudden you've defeated the purpose of putting the butter in the fridge. All right, I have that mixed in pretty well, quite well I should say. All right, now if I can find me a tool here. There we go. All right, now I made a hole in the middle. I don't know how much you can see here, this camera situation. All right, we have that in. Before I forget, we have a one cup of cheddar that I'm gonna mix in here also. Get behind the power curve here and I'm not paying attention. <laughs> so, we get all the cheesy mixed in best we can. I have no idea how this is going to come out. We'll see. All right, now I am going to, this is just regular evaporated milk. Uh, a lot of people use uh, buttermilk. So I'm just going to try to mix all this in to get a fairly do a doughy batch here. I may have to take a quick check of the chicken here in a second. Okay, we're going to need some more milk. Alrighty, that's what we do. Alright. Alrighty. Alright, I'm going to turn that off for right now. It's plenty hot. It's going to go in the oven very shortly. So, before everything sticks, we will stop right there. All right, I have to add some more milk. It's coming. the camera but such is life at the moment here. All right. I'm gonna take the last little bit of that I believe. Oh it's there. That's gonna do it. Right there. All right. Now, grandpa's gonna sit down here a little bit. I'll keep working this in. Together pretty good. All right. 
diabolical plan there's to hopefully my ice cream scoop will work here well, I don't have a release on it we'll see here all right here we go put those right on top I might not even use that I might just make some little clumpies here and uh, see what develops going to happen with this until it comes out of the oven, that's for sure. I've never done this before. We're going to find out what happens. Well, I'm having a little problem here. <laughs> Gigantic. It is what it is. One right there. And one right there. Clean off a little bit. Okay, let's see here. It's uh, 1138. I'm running a little close on my time. I got 425 degrees on the oven. This is going in. All right, so I will turn off the camera, and clean up a little bit of my mess, and uh, see how those biscuits do. Or do so, I'll see you checking out. Well, it's time for the reveal, as they say. I will try to stay out of the picture as much as possible. And hopefully, I can get this out of here without breaking anything and spilling it. It's right to the very tippy top. stick test here. Oh, look at there. Dry as a bone. Okay. Uh, how much we can see over here. But, uh, let me see if I can come in a little closer. No, nobody get dizzy while I do this, so there you go. Quick shot. See, I don't have a cameraman. I am the cameraman. So the my luncheon guests will be here shortly, so I will be turning this off and we'll get back to the pot where we fill up the plates. Well, I'm back. Let's see what happens when I dip this out of here. Got my scoop. Try not to make too big a mess. We're going to grab a nice biscuit. Oh, look at that underneath. Oh, my God. Oh, that's Looks pretty scary good to me. Alrighty. A little bit more here. Alright. One from you, one from me. Whoa there. Okay. There we go. Let's get some goodies underneath there. There comes the chicken and the taters. Alright. Move this over a bit. So I can scoff up a little bit more of the goodies on there we go. All righty now. There we go. Well, that's a start. Put the cover on. 
And let's see, I'll try to tip that a little bit so you can get an idea. No, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Well, I do saw a senior checking out and about to check into some lunch. Okay, Lloyd well, Dussel Senior check again. We had our lunch, and we both agreed that the uh, chicken, what's it called, chicken pot pie with biscuits. And there she is. Still got plenty left. We both agree it's uh, quite tasty. I'm very happy with the with the biscuits with the cheese in them. Um, I didn't go into too much on the uh, ingredients on here, but I didn't speak of them as I was putting the ingredients in. I think I like to do these recipes more as a give you an idea type of thing, and you can go from there, and that's how I've done most of my YouTube uh, scanning, or should I say perusing, and I see a little of this, a little of that, and this is what I've come up with for lunch today. And uh, I'm certainly, it's, it's certainly easy to uh, reproduce the, uh, what I've done, and, uh, or close. No two meals are ever alike when you're cooking like this. They all kind of lead it, taste a little bit better, or not quite as good, but they're always going to be fulfilling and edible. So we both agree, like I said, I'm running off, running off wild here. Turned out quite well. I'm very happy with the biscuits. But uh, putting that cheddar cheese in there worked out just fine. Gives them a nice taste. So, Lloyd, you saw it. See, you're checking out.